morning to all of you i am back with with new discussion related to the molecular biology and biochemistry this topic is specially deal with the amino acids we know very well amino acids are the building blocks of proteins these are the units monomers when they are combined by polymerization and they form the various type of the protein you know very well the proteins are structural and functional units of our body all enzyme are protein but all protein are not enzyme so enzymatic action hormonal action is merely considered with the structure and function of the protein so here is the polymerization bond that is the peptide bond it links the various type of amino acid by the peptide bond it is the cn bond related with the coh group of one amino acid and ns2 group of another it form a bond that is called peptide bond and here occur about 300 amino acid in the nature about which the 20 are of protein forming now if i discuss about their classification it can be categorized into four ways chemical classification classification of the bases of polarity of the side chain nutritional classification and the metabolic classification i hope it is clear to you first we have the chemical classification in accordance with the chemical structure they are firstly called as standard amino acid standard can be very important type of amino acid and they are categorized on the basis of number of coh group that is carboxylic acid group and nh2 that is amino group and according to their charge and they can be further classified into basic amino acid having less coh group and more nh2 group nh2 group give the basic nature and the basic amino acid are lysine arginine and histidine here it is the structure of the lysine having a 2 nh2 group and only one coh group second is the acidic amino acid having more coh group and lesser nh2 group here we have glutamic acid and aspartic acid very well understood two coh group two coh group and one nh2 group next is the mono basic mono carboxylic and the neutral amino acid neutral mean when the negative and positive charge are valence in nature co area can negative charge and nh3 positive the positive charge molecule having both positive and negative charges from the geometry on line it give it a amphoteric nature but when we have balanced charge they are called the neutral structure firstly it is the non polar aliphatic aliphatic mean ch ch long chain without any benzene ring like structure and non polar mean no extra charge on the side chain these are glycine alanine valine and the leucine and isoleucine next is the sulfur containing amino acid these are the cysteine and methionine you can see the sulfide bond in their structure i hope it is clear to you next we have the hydroxy amino acid containing the oh group alcoholic in nature group these are the serine and threonine having oh group oh group next the heterocyclic amino acid containing a cyclic structure but do not have the 6 pi electron configuration that is aromatic they are heterocycle it is tryptophan and histidine having the heterocycle structure amino acid containing the amino group they are a proline and hydroxyproline proline the nh group is most probably called the amino group i hope it is clear to you next we have the aromatic amino acid containing the benzene ring in their structure phenyl aniline tryptophan and tyrosine very well understood the benzene ring in their structure and the second type of the classification is called non standard amino acid 
having the similar structure like that of the amino acid but don't take part in the translation that is the protein synthesis as they do not carry the codon codon and anticodon interaction help in linkage of the amino acid and formation of the peptide bond and lack of the codon they cannot take part in the protein synthesis here we have taurine or ornithine and citrulline and gaba gamma amino butyric acid these amino acid do not take part in the protein synthesis and they are called non standard amino acid or non proteinaceous amino acid and the third type of the classification is the classification of amino acid according to the polarity of the side chain that is a r group first is the non polar amino acid these are aniline leucine isoleucine valine methionine phenylalanine tryptophan and proline second is the polar amino acid with no charge on the r group glycine serine threonine cysteine glumet glutamine aspartame and tyrosine having their side chain long but they have no charge third is the polar having the positive charge lysine arginine histidine they have their positive charge on the side chain polar with the negative charge aspartic acid glutamic acid having more number of the carboxylic acid it will add more negative charge on their structure i hope it is clear to you next classification is the nutritional classification and these are called nutritional amino acid they help in the nutrition formation of the body growth of the body more uh, main component of the digestive stuff firstly the essential or indispensable cannot be synthesized in the body they have to be taken in the diet they are valine isoleucine leucine lysine methionine phenylalanine threonine and tryptophan second is the semi essential they are the growth promoter but not synthesized in adequate amount in the body though they are synthesized but they are synthesized in lesser amount these are arginine and histidine third is a non essential or indispensable they can be synthesized in body they not main component of our diet lack of their existence in the diet cause no malnutritional disorder there are the glycine aniline cysteine aspartame glutamine tyrosine and proline and in the last we have the metabolic classification on the basis of the metabolic degradation of their product on the degradation what they produce it is also another type of categorization first is the ketogenic if they produce a ketone body they are the lysine leucine mixed ketogenic and glucogenic both they can produce ketone body and gluco gluconic mean glucose most probably the ketone body are the acetoacetate barbitate these are the ketone body these are both containing nature producing the ketone and glucose these are isoleucine phenylalanine and tyrosine next is the gluconic amino acid they produce glucose these are the glycine serine valine histidine arginine cysteine proline alanine glutamine aspartame and methionine in the last we have complexity upon their metabolic metabolic nature non essential as well as gluconic non essential what they are producing the glucose these are aniline arginine aspartame aspartate cysteine glutamine glutamate glycine proline serine non essential and glucogenic ketogenic it is a tyrosine only one essential gluconic amino acid histidine methionine threonine valine essential gluconic and ketonic isoleucine phenylalanine and tryptophan essential ketogenic leucine lysine i hope friend you have learned something about 
amino acid categorization and their chemical composition and their nutritional importance. If you have any query related to my this discussion, please comment me on comment box so that I could clear more within me and I can discuss more with you. If you like this video, subscribe my channel and share this among the needy student. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.